Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on turning conditional formatting on and off using a checkbox in Excel. So in this worksheet, I have fictitious data. I have an ID variable, pretest scores, post-test scores, and a variable labeled difference that is equal to the pretest minus the post-test. So if these values represent scores from a psychometric instrument, Let's assume that a higher value indicates more symptoms and a lower value indicates fewer symptoms. So as we move from the pretest score to the post-test score, we would hope to see a decline in the value. So the difference would be a negative value. So in this difference variable, I'm going to create a rule that highlights the values that are greater than one. So that would indicate that the post-test was higher than the pretest. So first I want to put the checkboxes in that we'll be using for this example. So I'm going to go to Developer up here in the ribbon, Insert, and you have a choice here between Form Controls and ActiveX Controls. I'm going to use a Form Control checkbox for this example. So I'm just going to put this onto the worksheet. You can see I have checkbox one, and then I'll go ahead and put a, another one on for some formatting I'll do for the post-test variable, and that'll be checkbox two. Then I'm going to link each of these checkboxes to a cell. So under Format Control, so right-click, Format Control, we can see that we have this cell link box here and I'm just going to select cell I2 for checkbox 1 click OK and then for checkbox 2 same thing cell link except it's going to be cell I3 click OK and now if I activate these checkboxes you can see when checkbox 1 is checked off it returns a true and when it's not it returns a false of course the same thing for checkbox two. So I'm going to set them both to true as I build this conditional formatting. To configure the conditional formatting rules for the difference variable, I'm going to go to the Home tab on the ribbon up top. I'm going to select the range D2 through D18. I want the conditional formatting to apply to all the cells in this range. I'm going to go to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, and New Rule from the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager. Here for select a rule type, I'm going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And this formula is going to be D2 is greater than zero. I'm going to delete these dollar signs that are automatically put in that make that an absolute reference. Then under Format, I'm going to use the Fill tab here and make this light blue. Click OK and then click OK. And you can see we have the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager again. Formula D2 is greater than zero and applies to D2 through D18. Click Apply. And we can see that all of the cells that had a value greater than zero are now highlighted in blue. For the post-test variable, I'm going to set up a similar type of conditional formatting, except in this example, let's say that a post-test of 40 or greater would be something we want to have highlighted. That would be a cell that we want to have highlighted. So again, I'm going to select the entire range, then go to conditional formatting, manage rules, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format, and again, for format values where this formula is true, I'm going to select C2. And this is going to be greater than or equal to 40. And again, I'm going to make this a relative reference by deleting the dollar signs that are put in there automatically. Here for the format, again, using fill, I'll just make this red. Click OK. Click OK here. And I want to apply this rule 
clicking apply in the bottom right and here we can see all the cells with a value greater than or equal to 40 are highlighted in red. So I want to be able to turn off each of these conditional formatting rules independently using these two checkboxes that I put in here to the right. So let's first take a look at the difference rule. All right, so this rule highlights a cell if the value is greater than zero and I want to tie it to this first checkbox. So under conditional formatting, go to manage rules and select this rule and click edit rule. And here looking at the original formula equal sign D2 is greater than zero. I'm going to start this right after the equal sign with the AND function, then a parenthesis, and then after the D2 is greater than zero, a comma, and set I2 equal to true. So now both of these conditions have to be satisfied in order for this formatting to take place. D2 has to be greater than zero, and I2 has to be true. Click OK and apply this rule. And because this is already set to true, nothing here will change. Click Apply, OK. You can see all of the same cells are still highlighted. The conditional formatting is still in place. I click the checkbox. Conditional formatting is not active because the value of I2 is now false. To set up the same type of situation for the post test. Go to conditional formatting, manage rules, select the rule affecting those cells, and instead of C2 is greater than or equal to 40, it'll be equal sign and C2 is greater than or equal to 40, comma, I3 is equal to true. Click OK and then apply and again no changes will be evident now but when I click the checkbox that conditional formatting is not active. If you want to have functionality similar to what I have here without using the checkboxes you could always use the same formula and just type true or false into these cells or you could set the formula the AND formula to recognize a 0 or a 1 here instead. And you could just type a 0 or 1 instead of putting true or false. It doesn't have to be connected to a checkbox. I hope you found this video on turning conditional formatting on and off with a checkbox to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.